Hi everybody, welcome to the astrology chat for May 25th, 2024. So the key for today is to take a really deep breath. Yes, there is this energy of like moving forward and charging forward, but the keys for today are going to be to appreciate where you are right now, appreciate what you have right now, be aware of the opportunities you have to develop the skills, understanding, and abilities that you're going to need for your future in a way that is loving, understanding, supportive, and grateful, and still work towards your future, right? You can be where you are right now and also going to where you are going in the future. And one of the parts that are important about this, especially in a capitalistic society, is that we're so taught to consume or to run that we don't know the value of making roots. And so wherever you can make roots in your soul, in your mind, in your spirit, in your community, with people who are also progressively minded, then go for it. Now, where you feel an irritation, where you feel a frustration, allow this to be an opportunity to highlight for you what needs to grow more. Do you need to have more patience? Do you need to have more understanding? Do you need to expand your vocabulary? Do you need to allow yourself to be more vulnerable? Whatever it is, and it is something for everybody, don't get skittish about it. Don't say that you're not good enough for it. Don't say that I just can't do it. I don't see it. No, let yourself learn how to see yourself in the world in a more cohesive, progressive, and maybe unexpected in a good way type of place. I say this because we have the moon that has moved into Capricorn at 11.35 a.m. So we're coming from this really like, I'm just going to go into the future. I'm just going to be future minded into Capricorn. It's like, okay, but we're here right now. How are we going to use time, position, honor, and fame? How are we going to, in some ways, buck against the traditions of our lives, buck against the traditions of society, and build something new for that future that we're all envisioning for ourselves as individuals and collectives? And we do have Venus in a trine with Pluto today. And so this is a really intense energy, right? Um, it kind of reminds me of Depeche Mode playing in the background with a candle and maybe some other things going on, right? So there is this like very intense, passionate energy, very consuming energy that if used properly or if channeled properly can allow for really deep connections. Some of them can be karmic, so not everything is for always, but some things are always here to teach you, right? Or it could be for a really long time if all of the parties are involved with that very honest, vulnerable, progressive communication that's required to keep a fire like that burning. We do have the moon also in square with Neptune. So there is this delusion, illusions, institutions, like the things coming in the background that are bubbling up to the surface. And this is where you're going to need to have grace and love with yourself to allow yourself to process and have those deeper moments of connection, have those deeper levels of understanding instead of just keeping it surface level or running away or just getting irritated, right? And speaking of irritation, we do have a lot of in conjunctions today. And in conjunctions are where things just kind of don't quite fit, right? It's something out the corner of your eye that you're being called to pay attention to. It's going to be a little uncomfortable, but if you do it, you're actually going to understand yourself and the world in a lot better place. And so we have the moon in the in conjunction with the sun, with Uranus, with Venus, and with Jupiter. And so this is Jupiter that's just moved into Gemini too. And so while Venus and Gemini can be like, oh, I want to have everything and do everything and doesn't want to like settle down, I do want to say to you, Venus is about to go into a uh, Kazemi with the sun. And so Venus is going to be going through a great rebirth with the sun um, by the end of this month until like the middle of June, right? Uh, maybe possibly early July. So the Venus that you know right now isn't who she's going to be by the end of the summer. She's actually going to be going through this very deep awareness and cleansing about who and what she wants around her. Uh, she doesn't just want to, she's not going to want to just be with people to be with people's sake. Venus, after she gets her purification and reset with the sun, is going to have very different requirements for who gets to be around her. So use today to dig into yourself about what you really need in yourself and in your relationships with other people. And I dare say, even be real about it, right? Uh, shallow waters are not so deep and you want to go to the bottom of the sea, right? Uh, I love you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow.